so we've got keeper Ryan also up getting the ball 24 Sainz and so Norwich get the free kick this time and uh, well it's flying on the left hand side it's nicely touched by Slater onto Carvalho on his debut getting a shot in it's blocked Nunez and Norwich maybe can break out here but misplaced pass from Barnes Nunez miscontrols it that area of the pitch just through the middle in front of the Norwich penalty area uh, the pitch is wearing a bit thin Carvalho Sarah on the edge of the box fed into the area a little spin from Sainz but he's lost possession of the ball good tackle comes in from Hull and now they can break forward with uh, Carvalho who's playing for them for the first time today challenge just put a little bit too much into that challenge on Carvalho they've lost a couple of players giving it away yeah Norwich get a troll in deep in, in the back Jacob under pressure winning it and just couldn't get the pass right to Sargent now Hull have possession they've broken over the halfway line with Carvalho the left back brings it up towards halfway now they've found some space inside Norwich territory once more Carvalho ball really blasted at him just to get his pass away and here's Carvalho for Hull looking dangerous area on the left hand side tees up Carvalho on the edge of the box Carvalho just too quick there for Ashley Barr he's coming and he's shown for the ball and again his quick feet was a little bit too much for Ashley again the move breaks down between those two players and Huller let off the hook and uh, he nearly has to make a change real determination Rowe gets tackled on the right hand side then the challenge is missed by Nunez and that allows Hull the chance to get forward on the left hand side with Carvalho slows it just to go back into the midfield Greaves is, is forward from centre back there for Hull now Carvalho on his debut on the left wing Rowe's got him being robotic yeah and give your position something into the centre circle two fans centres a chance for Hull gives it to Carvalho and Norwich have got to get back here Carvalho 30 yards from goal finds 25 yards from goal central position finds Carvalho in the penalty area with his back to goal Back to Carvalho it comes. <laughs> Lovely back heel from him. Whether it's the keeper also. And it's played up towards the halfway line where Billy Sharp gets a clever touch and then Carvalho is caught. But that's why we've just seen why Norwich City supporters are disappointed when he doesn't play, when, when David Wagner leaves him out, which he did at Millhold for that. Wonderful. Carvalho though on the left hand side for Hull. Rowe not doing his bit. <laughs> Initially not doing his bit. He's a bit card happy, this referee, isn't he? Bloody hell. It's getting Christmas is a couple of weeks ago. Huh? <laughs> the cards are coming out, aren't they? Like confetti. Now, Jonathan kicked from the left hand side, dinked into the penalty, a really awkward to defend against. Sainz, it went over his head. Carvalho has managed to dig it out from uh, the, the side of the six yard box. It went over the bar. Haller screaming there. Kicked there, they tried a little bit. The sky is twined. They've obviously walked on things in training the game, so you don't have as long on a yellow card, but you just have to go and play. And twine on the edge of the penalty. Area. Switches it on to Carvalho here in the penalty. Area. He cuts it back. Oh, there's an Irish defender that gets there and clears it away. Sarah. But for how long? It's on the left wing with Carvalho for Hull, level with the Norwich penalty area. On loan from Liverpool this week. Battles there with Barnes and with Rowe, and the ball bounces behind him. It's come off Carvalho, who immediately looks to the skies in frustration. Norwich got scripts with it well yeah. there, goal kick. As, in as the they... middle of the Norwich half, though, they've still got a bit of work to do here before half time. Norwich City. Reaction of the player suggests he probably was. Hull now with Carvalho, on loan from Liverpool. Once of Fulham. When Norwich do use the ball well, when they do pick out their teammates, that's what they can do. They've not done it enough, and they're vulnerable on the counter attack. Hull have switched the play. Quick break, and Hull very nearly. Yes, yeah, and again, it's it's a great great bit of play when Norwich initially little run. Morton through the midfield for Hull, lays it off to Carvalho. Long head coil. Oh, it's missed by McLean. It's with Carvalho in the penalty area. Oh, he drags it across goal and wide, and he's got Billy Sharp in the six yard box, wanting to know why that ball wasn't hit into his path. Carvalho went for glory there, didn't he? Yeah. But maybe if he gets his head up, there's a tap in for Billy Sharp, but Norwich City aren't complaining. But again, it's it. They're going to come on for Norwich. I think David Wagner senses trouble. Carvalho. It's been worked back here to Carvalho. Coyle crosses, blocked by McCallum. Still loose in the penalty area here. Carvalho plays it across. Another chance here for Hull Duffy. Got through a lot of hard work in the first half, Jack Stacey. Carvalho. For long enough, two fan finding Carvalho in front of him. He lays it off to Tyler Morton. Morton into the penalty here for Carvalho. Shooting position. Good challenge from Sarah. Short the corner. This time from the right. Lakilo to the edge of the penalty. Carvalho through a crowd of players. Blocked again by position for Slater, who tested Gunn a moment ago. Now Carvalho to Moore. He's made some good saves tonight, but Norwich have become a, a team first minute. Here come Hull from it. Up towards the edge of the penalty. Carvalho tackled. It's broken for Tyler Morton. 25 yards out. He's going to have a dig and he scores. Just as you think it's getting uncomfortable, doesn't it? Never comfortable when you're watching Norwich City. David Wagner from Norwich, especially with nicking the goal on the yeah, goal obviously, as well. Yeah. That, that yeah, really yeah. helps. I think you're right. I think it's not a comfortable watch from a Norwich point of view because no. it always seems like colour on the attack. But.